Alright guys, back at it again. It's your boy Joe. Make sure you subscribe. Alright, so what we're gonna do now is because people wanna see this, they wanna know a little bit about jQuery, right? So let's ask some jQuery. So what we're gonna do is say jQuery CDN and Usually, let me see, CDNJS, yeah, let's see, let's get this one, right, minify version, and now, let's come back to here, index, let's add this at the bottom, so, right before the closing tag of the body, we're going to add script src. And then All right. So now we should be having jQuery, right? So what this does is it loads jQuery for this page. Now let's say right now we wanted to do this. Script script and let's say let's change this title. Uh, let me see. Jumbo, right? So we're going to take dollar sign. Matter of fact, we're going to start with this document dot ready. And then inside of this document, this dot ready, we're going to do function. And basically, here we're gonna do this. Let's play around. Let me see if I could change this real quick. And body, and then CSS. Let's say background. Let's see if that works. Yeah, you see? I changed the background with jQuery. All right, so let me explain what's going on here. So what this is saying is when the page loads and is ready, basically run this script. So what this is saying, on the body tag, change the CSS background to FFF, which is white. Right, so that's how jQuery work. Um, pretty much works. Right now we're gonna comment this out, and let's see. Let me. Sorry, I didn't save it. All right, let's get back to it. Okay. All right, what should I do for for this thing? Maybe I should create uh, a model. Right, so modal is like you know, it's like a little pop up, but instead of opening up a new window, it's just like a you open up a little pop up inside the page. So let's create this, right? Let's name this container, modal container. All right, and then inside of it, we're gonna go model. All right, and then inside here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna display image SRC. All right, 
And what else? We're gonna for now we're gonna take this. We're gonna hard code it. And basically put this thing in here. Alright. Now in the CSS we're gonna basically say modal slash container and then we're gonna say background RGB RGBA and then we're gonna say zero 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 and then here we're gonna do zero point seven right and then we're gonna say uh, position fixed top zero left zero and what this is gonna do is basically is going to basically have this box let's say for example with uh, 500 pixels and then height uh, 300 pixels right so what that does is it creates a box here and then it places this top zero left zero so it's always in the top left corner right but what I really want is to be the full screen so I'm gonna do width 100% height 100% right so now the model is actually the whole background see model container is now the full width and the full height of the window right so see that all right now what I'm going to do is say model container the model I'm gonna say a width 500 pixels height 600 pixels um, basically, yeah. and then we're gonna say margin 0 auto the fuck okay auto yeah so what that does is basically centers the image centers the the model so I don't know if you guys see it even though the image is there it's inside of the model the model is actually just 500 pixels you see it's just this box so it is actually centered but the image is bigger than the the model itself so now let's do this uh, let's make this model image with 100% you see so now it always fits inside now let's do this inside the models do a padding of 15 pixels now inside of this we're gonna do a border size nice box sizing border box do this for this do this for this and what this does is basically is telling it calculate the inside of the of the border box so it's basically saying like hey whatever padding and whatever margin you put make sure it, it, it stays contained to this width right so the width is 500 now you're gonna see a change right now look how this changed right here you see when you was doing the padding what it was doing it was adding extra extra space to the box itself but what you what you wanted to do is just basically say hey I only want this box to be 500 pixels so with border um, border sizing 
now whatever pattern you put in is going to be only inside of it so it's always going to be 500 pixels and whatever pattern is always inside so it's going to um, constrain everything inside of it at that size all right so let's see uh let's take this height and let it be the height of the image all right now let's say margin uh, let's say 100 pixels all right okay now what else can we do okay model container so I want this to happen uh, display box display block no, display none and only show up what that's saying is don't show up unless is is gonna say display block so what I'm gonna do is modal container active so display block so what it's saying is if the modal container has the class active then show it if not don't show it. don't show the display block so now it disappear right now like let's say with jQuery we say uh, let's say box right so let's do this class box remember if you want to target this is basically what it's doing is saying okay I want to target uh, this box this class so anything with this class is gonna be targeted I could also do an ID which will be like that or you know like that box so let's say that box and then let's go what was I doing oh yeah add class active but this is not what I want I want this that click and then in here you're gonna say you're gonna do a function and then we're gonna do we're gonna target the modal modal container oops numbers of class modal container dot at class active let me see if that works mm, it's not working why is it that box that uh, uh, sometimes we gotta search like jQuery click there might be something that I'm missing right now okay why isn't it showing it's weird I mean you know it's always gonna be a little bullshit like that you see I'm actually adding the the container so it is working like look look on the side here model container it doesn't have the class active so when I click it now it added the class active so it, jQuery is actually working now why it's not showing up we gotta look at at this thing why isn't this working oh wait sorry about that so if you put it like this like separated the the classes what this is saying is uh, model container and then this is the child so anything that's inside of a uh, model container call with the class active then turn it to display blocks but if you wanted to say model container 
uh, like let's say a div with model container and active, then you have to put it together. So if that model container dot active. So now it should work. Can you see? So now it's showing up, right? Cool. Now if I wanted to close it, uh, just for now to make it easier, let's say. Uh, uh, let's say modal. So for now, if I click a modal again, I want the modal container to remove class active. Right? Now when I click again, it's gonna disappear. See. And if you look here, it removes it, removes the class active. All right. All right. So this is just the beginning. It's like super basic jQuery stuff. But, you know, just for you guys to, you know, get your feet wet. You already know, make sure you subscribe. In the next video, I'm going to uh, fix this up and make it a little bit better, you know, using jQuery. Okay, guys? Subscribe and sign up. Oh my god.